Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can fix uh, error code 14003 on Parsec. So 14003 error code is an error code you get when Parsec has an issue with uh, capturing your display. Usually this error code is most common in laptops, right? Because they're using the wrong graphics card. For technical reason, uh, Parsec can't use dedicated graphics card. So if you have a NVIDIA or an AMD graphics card, uh, you need to make it your dedicated uh, integrated graphics card instead, right? If you want to do that, you'll need to click on this link here, default steps. And this is how you want to change the <clears throat> the graphics card from the dedicated onto the integrated one, right? So if you have an NVIDIA here, for example, you'll have to go to the NVIDIA control panel and then you'll need to click on manage 3D settings and then on auto select, on auto select, you need to click on the program settings tab and then click to and then click add to a new program and then select parsec application to make it to your integrated one instead so here add selected program and then change the preferred graphics card processor to the integrated graphics there and then you'll need to click apply sometimes uh the game can if the game is not running in full screen it can cause issues with that as well and then there's also issues with lock screen and uac and protected desktop right and the other issue is that your PC either has no monitor or it's a virtual machine or you turn off your monitor on the host, right? So if you're using any a virtual machine or any of these, that could be an issue as well. But there's also a window multi-user system. So if you have a multi-user and the other one is locked in, you uh, Parsec won't be able to run correctly. And lastly, there's also issues with Windows RTP. If you don't know what this is, you can just ignore this part of the video. But if you do, uh, you'll need to run edit group policy and then navigate to local computer policy, computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, remote desktop services, remote desktop session host, and remote session environment. And then you'll have to set use WDDM graphics display driver to disabled.